Well, to be perfectly honest with you, um, as you know, the older you get, the more uh, you're aware of your mortality. You know, when you're, <laughs> when you're young, you don't think you're ever going to die. So, I mean, it's not like I haven't had a couple of health challenges. But to be perfectly honest with you, I had to keep fighting back this fear that at any day, this thing could take me out. Mm -hmm. uh, and my family thought I was acting strange because I got in touch with my son and my daughter. I have multiple insurance policies, uh, hit my son on one, my daughter on another, my wife, whatever, letting everybody know where everything was in the house and who was on what. And they're like, oh, you're going to be right. I said, well, look, you know, I don't know. Uh, I talked to Isaac Robinson mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. days before he died. Now, one of the most damnable thing about this is this whole protocol of who could be tested. Because yeah. Isaac didn't have a fever. Right. I didn't have a fever. And he, you know, basically stayed home. I mean, you know, we were told early on this myth that African Americans were not succumbing or even uh, contracting this. I mean, there's so much stuff that makes me feel as if some of us are responsible and literally have blood on our hands. Mm.